everyone, it's Seth Rudetsky. Um, I'm here with <laughs> my little puppy. Uh, I'm gonna give you a recap of the Playbill by the Sea. Normally it's a Playbill cruise. We were in Puerto Rico on a resort and I never actually left it. Ready people? We had Cheyenne Jackson, Megan Hilty, Donna McKechnie, Faith Prince, Christine Ebersol, Paolo Jot. By the way, the reason I say Paolo Jot that way is because Christine Ebersol imitates Liza Minnelli, giving him the Tony Award. Paolo Jot. Tommy Tune, Laura Benanti. Okay, so we were in this like stunning, stunning resort in Puerto Rico, and I would do my interviews, my chatter boxes, but they were outdoors, and what was, actually I feel bad, but the audience would face us, but we would face out towards this gorgeous ocean. So actually, us performers, we had the most amazing views ever. We had celebrity dinners, we had celebrity autograph sessions. I mean, everyone was mingling anyway, but we had like official autograph sessions. Uh, we also had Lily dance class lessons. And of course, Julie was there visiting, so um, we both tried out some of our moves. This is me and Julie working it. And of course, we had the concerts every day. I feel like we had like three concerts a day because we were only there for a week, but we had a thousand more performers. So the whole week began with Cheyenne Jackson. So it's Cheyenne Jackson, it's sounding amazing. We have the amazing Faith Prince there telling us all that she's a Broadway baby. Megan Hilty was, of course, beautiful, hilarious, sound phenomenal, and her show was very popular. By the way, Megan was there in the heat with her brand new baby, and I mean brand new. Now, I thought her name was Viola, but it's actually Viola. Her name is Viola. Yeah. Based on what again? Twelfth Night. Anybody, anybody know Shakespeare? Yes. All right. All right. By the way, I don't know Shakespeare. She told me Shakespeare way. I had no idea. We all know Laura Benanti has a beautiful soprano voice. Um, this is not her audition song, but perhaps it should be. I always talk about people having like um, song slash role envy. So Donna McKechnie was of course in a chorus line, Cassie, Music in the Mirror, but usually what happens is when you do a long run, you wind up coveting other people's songs. So here's Donna McKechnie doing her own spin on Morales' song. Mr. Cock turns to me and says, okay, Morales, what do you feel? And I said, nothing. I'm feeling nothing. And he said, nothing. Good girl transferred. They all felt something. Okay, so here's Paolo Jat. First of all, stunning. Second of all, amazing voice. Third of all, you know he's Polish, but he was born in Brazil. He talked about wanting to get roles, but you know, because he's from Brazil, you know, he doesn't speak English so perfectly. So he went to Colony Records and got a book called the the wait, what is it? The big book for actors with accents. This is a girl song. <laughs> from Puerto Rico. And it has all the different roles he could possibly play for actors that have accents, and this is part of his medley. A boy like that, will tell your brother, forget the boy and find another. Want your brother, stick to your own. I want to be in the bed. Okay, my be in the bed. Here's Tommy Tune. Looking amazing, by the way, not just in a show, just constantly walking in a stunning outfit. I'm feeling too good today, but I don't give up that easy. Cause when I'm unhappy, I'm tippy toe tappy in my shoes. I'm feeling too good 
Christine Ebersol, she got this idea. She did an all request show. So she pulled out one and she goes, this is a request and I recognize the handwriting because I wrote it. So she requested it herself. She's always wanted to sing something that she knows she'll probably never get cast in. Very unfair. Porgy and Bess. <laughs> So the whole trip was phenomenal, and it's interesting, you know, I was going through issues with, with my doggy, and Christine was there in Puerto Rico, and she'd actually found her doggy 30 years before on this beach. She visited the beach, and she said all these memories flooded back to her about finding this puppy, which of, of course passed away. She was so emotional about it, because she said she just had this total, complete sense of memory of finding that puppy, and she sang this stunning uh, Eva Cassidy version of Over the Rainbow, basically dedicated, I guess, to her dog. The point is, I was playing, I was sobbing, she was, it was, a, it was beautiful, and this was at the end of the week. It's just so stunning. Listen and enjoy. In conclusion, there were phenomenal stars, phenomenal like these just exclusive shows where you're like an inch away, all these great interviews, delicious crazy food. We were on land, the next one we're gonna be back on a cruise, but not one of those big cruise ships, we're on, I think it's like a river boat almost. It's much smaller and we're gonna be in Asia in all these phenomenal spots. So come visit us on the next delicious cruise for high belting and delicious Asian food. <laughs>